well folks we're here at the dirt pit getting some dirt yep you're looking at this right say hello to Austin's new ride the Falcon Express 2.0 Austin and dad have officially purchased our own dump truck so this is dad's first trip getting dirt by ourselves instead of calling and paying to get dirt now we get it our own self this is a huge deal for our family because we're always needing dirt and we can never get anybody to deliver it and when they do deliver it it's once in a blue moon so we made an investment it's gonna pay off for us because we got huge plans for this I know dad's ecstatic about it. Oh, no. All right, we'll see you guys back at the house. <laughs> hey, baby. Whee! Where's the dump truck? You don't know? There it is. Okay, watch out. Olay Flem, king of the mountain, huh? All right, here it goes. Y'all ready? We're ready. Say ready, guys. Ready. <gasps> wow. There it goes. Yeah, I oh yeah. Go forward, go forward. Bump it one more time. Yeah. Bump it again. Back and bump. Go forward. Go ahead and go forward and I'll spread it. You gotta just pop the foot again. Oh, and he stalled it. You're good. All done? Yeah. That's it. You're good. Yeah. All right, hey, Flynn, what you think of that? I think I'm going to do Judah. Huh? Judah, come here, bro. <laughs> Judah, you seen me calling? <laughs> yeah, all right. Success. Success. Go, go, go get no, your tractor. Go off in the water. Ezra, Ezra. He go good. So what do you think? First I trip. Got I gotta learn this shifter because I was in high range the whole way because I couldn't get it going low until we got right here. You gotta pass the gas and do it at the same time. Yeah, and get it to sink. I was wondering when we were going up that hill, I was like, uh. Yeah, well, I was in fourth gear high. That's what I was wondering. I was like, this thing's bogging kind of. We were going a little fast. But overall, overall, we're good, guys. New chapter to our uh, racing careers. Updates on the barn right there. Hey. All right, later. There you go, folks. Let the fun begin. Oh yeah, I love this. That's what I'm talking about. One down, 475,463 million to go. <laughs> but it does the job. All right, Dad, it's a good day. So yeah. you just got done dumping dirt at my house, load one. Yeah. And I mentioned of like a 454, 75 million, whatever, you know, Joe Biden's number. But today is the day of concrete, right? Concrete. So fast yeah. forward a couple of weeks and you feel like you've kind of mastered the dump truck? Uh, yeah. As I got far new as tires for it. I got to put them on. 
We'll go show them well, that. I don't but know if I mastered it, but I this know is, how to drive it and dump it. This is a huge thing for us, right? And for you, really, because this is something you've been wanting to do for a while. Well, yeah. So, do you want to kind of... getting old. <laughs> well, and this I'm is making... I'm tired of crawling under cars. Yeah. Take that bottom motor mount and get them axles off. So, you guys know Dad has started updating the barn for a while, and it is looking amazing. Him and Austin and Tanya and everybody's out here been cleaning up. You can see it's just we brought dirt in, we brought rock in. But show us what you've done now. So, if y'all remember, this was all just really low and brought nasty. About 10 loads of dirt, built it up about a foot and a half. Y'all check this out. I so that the concrete truck can come in here and get the pour on the back. Let's go show them. So right here where all this is, it's tore down. You can see Austin's roof. Right They're there. going up to the top. They're going to raise this whole roof up for this lift to go in here. Let's go so show them from the inside. But you can see, like you said, he's brought in how many loads? Five or six? Ten. Oh, ten loads total right here. Yeah. And uh, he's, you kind of see the grade kind of falls way off, but... This is as long, that's what, how many feet is that, you think, of dirt? This, this barn's probably what, uh, 60 feet? 60 feet of dirt. So 60 feet is this run from right here. It's about 16 foot by, some spots are almost two foot deep. Yeah, so Austin showed you guys that this, um, that the dump truck, that we got it already. But this kind of video is just to kind of update you guys on what's about to happen here at the barn dad and them have been taking so all this junk and metal that you see out here so this is a 45 by 90 barn okay and it hurricane katrina it took every bit of it down completely there's still parts of that barn where you can see out in the woods out there there's way metal. out there there's stuff out there and the trees twist <laughs> around and i know that's been 18 years ago but it's, it's just disheartening. And so slowly but surely, we've been putting this barn back together better than it was. And um, still building some fast rides out of and it. And still, <laughs> there's been a lot of race cars coming out of this little old slab. So we're fixing to extend this slab. Yep. So all this has been going to the scrap yard. You can see him and Austin been taking trailers and cleaning up. So we're getting everything situated like tires and metal. And But here's the talk of the day. Where they dump the concrete truck is coming here. Look at that. We're going to go this little section over there. Going to tie in right here to where this will be a drive through. All that will be concrete and all that will be concrete. That's why the bolts are already in. And then I put rebar all through it. And tell them why that is in the ground. So that is where those car lifts. So dad bought us this lift and uh, dad bought us this lift and this lift will uh, actually be going right here. So like he mentioned, you can t see that this car lift is extremely high. Well, that car lift obviously won't fit right here because you guys look at this. The roof is too, too uh, low. So like he was saying, he went ahead and built his jig, right? Yeah, that's a, one that's got a metal frame. The bolts, I know they put go on the lift. Yep, he pre-built it. Uh, so it, That means everything's welded. That rebar is welded to them frames. Yep. And it is all tied together. So when that concrete truck comes in here and dumps this concrete, one is gives me about four inches more concrete here. Probably by another two is gonna go Maybe two and a half is gonna go right on top. top. So the studs will barely be sticking up for the lift. But that way when that concrete hits it, it ain't gonna move it. No, I say it stops so solid. It's, it's been in here, it's been sitting up for two three weeks, weeks. Three two weeks. Three weeks. But we got all this old gate wire here. We're gonna throw some wire in here. Just to make it strong, but you guys can see how nice what we've done. So from all of our old videos, you can see we used to have two cars stacked in there. Well, you can see Dad's Pony Express, poor thing, is sitting right there, right? So we can put another car here. We can have two cars there and then two cars here. So this is a six bay, and now we're about to make it into an eight bay here and then be able to put three cars right here 
if need be. Um, but mainly we're doing this so that we're not working in the dirt. This area of the barn you can see obviously is still being used. It's got a bunch of old Volkswagen stuff. You guys, I know a bunch of y'all have been asking. Dad and Austin have a pile of Volkswagens. Carmen Ghia, Austin Super Beetle, a bunch of other ones out there. But this barn has been used for that. But now since we're doing the racing thing, we're slowly turning it into our race shop for FFR for dad and them to be able to have a fine spot. We got our tire machine. We'll be able to move and we're just going to run a bunch of good stuff back there. So it's really cool. So I'm excited for this day. This is really going to make this barn nice. I mean, really nice, but then we're the, going to put the walls back up, put roll up doors. Yeah, we got a roll up door that's going to go over there. So I might go ahead and just buy two of them put a roll up right here i know that left would be there but that'd be for wind or we can just make it to where the the thing opens up like a, a window or we can uh, just put a so window this, so yeah this is multiple families living in the yeah barn. this is 20 years of collecting junk volkswagen, volkswagen stuff volkswagen mainly stuff y'all can see all kind of volkswagen of insulation to come out of your house that we saved we're yeah. put up in here we used to actually have a chicken farm right here our chicken pen right here yeah, which was crazy so but all right well we're gonna uh just do some final touch-ups here but like i said when we get these doors in well it'll be really nice to be able to drive the cars and back trailers down in here and yeah, unload yeah so when we go to tear all this out we'll we're gonna lean. put a lean to right connected so if you guys can see there's the edge of the top that same line will follow right here and come all the way out so all this will be covered so who knows eventually we may even concrete under here so we're just doing some major shop upgrades i know that a lot of times youtubers don't talk about their home stuff and their home renovations and just before the I'll, sheer fact I'll of show you all the junk yeah about. just i was gonna say but guys we're being real with y'all i mean this is the stuff. This, I mean, we're not we're not operating out of a no multi million dollar facility with these hey, stinger yeah, cars, yeah. <laughs> but First we class. like Dad always says, which I really like. We don't go to the track unless and, uh, for anything except expecting to win. Guys, we're gonna that same thing here. We this thing may not be a million dollar shot. We're very blessed to be able to have this nice barn. So this is taking twenty something years. So we're gonna uh, wait for that concrete truck to get here and get the pouring thank you guys for hanging out with us here we go glad we put all this dirt here <laughs> look at that guys here it goes dad the moment we've all been waiting for. You ready? All right, Tanya.
spray dad with a hose. Dad, not gonna lie, that kicked our butt. I mean, we are filthy, filthy, filthy. We are tired. Dad's back hurts. He's had about 10 Charlie horses. But Dad, what do you think of it overall? It's gonna be way better than it was. Before we start. Uh, I know how to build race cars. Way better than I know how to float concrete. Yeah, that stuff's no joke. And I guess way more than I know how to figure concrete. So what happened before we go show them? Well, I, they probably saw I it in the time lapse. I've been doing that for years. I measured it and went to Google and got a concrete calculator, put in my length, my width, my depth. And it said that I needed 4.7 something yards. So I ordered five yards and we are about three yards short. Yeah, we're way short, so. Uh, but hey, one thing about it is, that means that my depth is in some places the way is way thicker and that's gonna be where that car left is. But I figured that in when I figured the calculator, so I ain't. Don't use that calculator again. I ain't saying that. <laughs> I didn't get five yards, I'm just saying that that's mighty short. Yeah. I could have seen, you know, two foot. And we're 15 by 15. Yeah, we were way short, like a whole bay, so. Really I'm gonna go over here and show y'all. Here you go. So, it's not trialed yet. We're letting it sand. Hold on, let me turn this rattler fan off. But here you go. So it may not look like it on camera, but this is a big area. So, it goes all the way across. We'll be able to pull all the race cars all the way in. You can see where now, where the stubs for the lift are. So the lift will go right there. But like dad said, that much we're short, a whole area. So the only thing I can think of is if you guys want to guesstimate, which what I think happened, I think maybe he forgot to put the measurements for that, that area in there because we got just enough for this area and it was a little bit deep and being a short, a whole bay just makes me think that uh, maybe he didn't calculate that area, but don't tell him I said that. But regardless, we got a lot accomplished. And like I said, this is not trialed. He's going to come back. Um, you can see right over here, if you can see, I'm not sure. Right there, see how smooth that is? He's going to come back and hand trial that a little bit later on and uh, make it all slick. But it's a little bit too wet right now to go get on. So, All right, Dad. I gotta go to a birthday party. You have to watch this video to see what I think maybe happened with the measurement, but what? I ain't gonna tell you, you gotta watch the video. <laughs> but dad, overall, we got some major modifications done on this race shop. We're uh, we're gonna sign off and in here. Um, I gotta go to a birthday yep, party Austin's for my on sister's a, grandkids. <laughs> Austin's yeah. on a hot streak in the uh, racing. When so. I come back, this will dry some, I'll get out there where I can Get out there and I'll hand try the whole yeah, thing. Yeah, I told him. So, thank you guys for watching. Big things going here for FFR. Um, we really appreciate you guys. Um, some of the support that we get from you guys that has contributed to this build right here, this barn, um, financially. So, we do have to say thank you guys. We did use a little bit of our YouTube money for this. So, I'm very fortunate and blessed that you guys watch this and have subscribed to our channel. If you're new here and you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. Uh, you don't even have to watch the videos. I know we said that a lot. We hadn't said it in a while. A lot of you guys watching don't care to see it. And I understand that. Some of it's not uh, fun to watch. Hey. Thank you guys so much for hanging out. Uh, the dump truck's amazing. The road over there was amazing. The uh, concrete work, me and dad tried our best to knock it out. It's not perfect, but it is what it is. So. We'll catch you guys in the next one. Y'all like, comment, and subscribe. Let us know what you think. Until then, we'll see you guys again. 
and we'll be doing a super clean giveaway shortly if you haven't seen that video it's a super clean giveaway on my pure stock build y'all go check that out um, we're gonna do the giveaway uh, winner in the next video so thank you guys catch you later